it makes me really happy to see Jake Johnson make a very low budget movie and get a bunch of his celebrity friends like, hey, come for the movie set for like one day. I just, I'm making my first movie. I need you to come and just help me out for like a day. And it makes me happy because as a person that is not famous, I want to make a movie. And this is a very low budget movie that I feel like I could make. Here's Johnny. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Expecto Patronum! Self-Reliant stars Jake Johnson and Anna Kendrick and is about given the opportunity to participate in a life or death reality game show, one man discovered there's a lot to live for. From writer and director Jake Johnson, yeah, Nick from New Girl. He's finally writing and directing a movie. I believe this is his first movie. I could be totally wrong, but this is just me assuming that. Um, this is a brand new Hulu movie called Self Reliance that came out this weekend, and I saw one ad for it on TikTok, and I was like, listen, I love me some Nick from New Girl. I want to see his movie that he writes and directs, and it, literally, it's an hour and a half movie. It's a very cool idea about a man who's just invited by Andy Samberg playing himself to be like, you get a million dollars if you su survive 30 days without anyone killing you, as long as you have someone's arm reached next to you or something like that, you can live. And for an hour and a half, I'll say that plot alone kept me invested. I wanted to see how this movie was going to end. And the movie has very much heart to it. Jake Johnson is a person that has this like homeless man with him the entire time. He builds friendships. He meets his father. His his parents don't believe in or anything. No one really believes him. But then you have Anna Kendrick who is another player in this game and he meets with and they grow a relationship and it's romantic and such. But like the idea alone that someone's trying to kill you really does play in this movie for an hour and a half. And I enjoyed that idea. I really did. I thought like it really it's an idea that kept you intrigue and the runtime proved to me that like all right this is an idea that can only work if you have a good pace edit to it and I will say when it gets more into the Anna Kendrick stuff the movie kind of slows down for me it gets more into the romantic like I like you you like me we're in the same situation kind of deal. But then once that stuff happens, the movie slows down, but then the third act picks up and the movie itself won't spoil it. makes a joke towards the audience saying, we need the third act to be uh, more exciting. When you see the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But basically the third act then is like, all right, what's happening? Is this real? Is he going insane? Will he get a million dollars? And in the end, I think Jake Johnson wrote a script that felt funny. It's not hilarious. There's definitely some charm hilarity to it. It's just like a funny like movie that has good little one quips. But in the end, I feel like the movie could have been a little weirder, a little more like process to where like there's more to the story but they didn't go that far it's just a man who thinks he's winning a million dollars or is he kind of idea and I feel like they could have played with that a little more but I mean I still enjoyed the performances by Jake Johnson and Anna Kendrick and all of the cameos you get in this movie but it's a cool story with a cool idea a nice pace to it it's not a movie I'm gonna like tell you gotta see but it's a good little Hulu movie I'm gonna give self-reliance a B I'm very intrigued to see what Nick does next. And yes, I'm going to call him Nick because he's always going to be Nick from New Girl. I love Jake Johnson. He just seems like a really funny dude. And he did a good job in this movie. Seriously, good job directing and writing. Definitely intrigued to see what you can do next. Hopefully more. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this movie review, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.